Now let's look at how this short run uh, rule looks in the uh, in a diagram to basically derive the short run supply curve for the firm. So if we have a diagram, in the usual diagram that has uh, quantity on the horizontal axis and dollars or cost uh, or price in the vertical axis, um, then what, we, what we're basically saying is that uh, in the short run is really the average variable cost what's going to determine whether the firm operates or not. And the firm, remember that the rule was if the price falls below the average variable cost, then she shut down. So in an uh, in a average variable cost like this one, the price is never going to fall below the um, is never going to fall below the average variable cost as until is below the lowest point of the average variable cost curve, right? So when the output is Q1 and P1, that's kind of like the borderline, right? So anything below that price, anything below P1, then you're, you have to shut down. So this point, like the lowest point of the average variable cost uh, for a firm, is called by economists the shutdown price, because at that price, or anything below that price, tells you that you should shut down. And anything from that price up, you will produce. So essentially, the, um, the supply curve for the firm in the short run it's going to be this section of the average variable cost curve. And you will produce in the, short, in the short run, you will operate, you will not shut down as long as you're in this part of the average variable cost curve. If you are here, you are the, you are the borderline, you'll still produce. But if you fall below there, then you, you stop producing, you shut down because it's better to shut down than to actually produce anything. And this borderline, where the price is equal to the average variable cost at the lowest point of average variable cost is called, I write it down here, it's called the shutdown price. Okay? Now in the next video, I'm going to show you an example of how to find that shutdown price if you have uh, a cost function.